Hello everyone, welcome to Wire Network. Today we are now going to configuring a Cambium Force 200 point to point link. First, configure the same subnet IP address on your PC or laptop to access the Cambium device. Open a web browser and enter the IP address of the device. This should bring up the Cambium device's web interface. Enter the default username and password. If you haven't changed these, the default might be admin for both. After login the device, Cambium will ask you to change default password. Enter the new password and click on the save button. Next, go to the configuration. In the radio mode option, select the access point. Select the EPTP master in the driver mode. Click on the country field and select other. Enter your preferred SSID. Select your required channel bandwidth. In the frequency carrier, choose frequency which you want to set in access point. Click on the save button. Now, go to the system. In the device name field, set your AP device name. Click on the save button. Click on the network option. In the IP assignment option, select the static and configure your required IP address. Configure your preferred and alternate DNS addresses. Click on the Save button. Next, go to the Security option. In the Security window, set your WPA to pre-shared key. Click on the Save button. After completed the access point configuration, reboot the device to apply the configuration.
Open a web browser and enter the IP address of the device. Login device using default username and password. After login the device, Cambium will ask you to change default password. Enter the new password and click on the save button. Next, go to the configuration. In the radio mode option, select the subscriber module. Select PTT slave in the drive mode. Click on the add new AP. Enter your AP SSID in SSID field. In the wireless security field, remove the EAPT TLS and open. Enter your access point WPA to pre-shared key. Select all radio frequency. Set require transmit output power. Click on the save button. Now, go to the system. In the device name field, Set your client device name. Click on the Save button. Click on the Network option. Configure your required IP address. Click on the Save button. Finally, click on the Reboot button to apply the configuration. Once the devices are rebooted and connected, test the connection between them. You can use tools like ping or a network monitoring tool to ensure a stable link.